Welcome back to the Hacienda's Kitchen. Rivet here. Today we're going to be making something delicious. But then again, we're always making something delicious. Today we are keeping up with the North African theme cooking. We're making a Somali spice mix known as Hawash. Hawash is the national spice mix flavor of Somalia. And uh, <clears throat> it is utilized in all kinds of cooking, all kinds of recipes, and it's not hot. It is spicy in the um, savory sense. Uh, it's got a weird spelling, Hawash. It's spelled with an X, as you can see, but it's pronounced with a r guttural H. And these are the ingredients. I'm going to give you the list of ingredients at the end, uh, but I'm tripling the recipe, so uh, it's, it's quite a lot more. We have uh, coriander seeds, and by the way, I just came back from my uh, um, nature food store uh, where I buy these items in bulk. So we've got coriander seed. We have green cardamom seed. This is a seed that's still in its husk. Uh, when you get it brown, it's partially toasted and ground. Or you can get ground cardamom powder, uh, which we have in the house, and uh, it looks like this. And cardamom is known as the queen of spices, and it's very uh, important and popular in northern African cuisine. We need whole cloves, um, we need cumin seed, black peppercorns, turmeric powder, and cinnamon. These items we're going to toast first in a skillet, and then we're going to grind them up in my spice grinder. Now, traditionally, you use it in a mortar and pestle. But we live in the 21st century, and I ain't going to do that. We're going to use a spice grinder. Okay, I got the saucepan out. I got the coriander seeds, the cloves, the cardamom, the black peppercorns, the cumin seed. And I crushed up that um, <clears throat> the cinnamon sticks. We need about three tablespoons. So there you go. Now, over medium heat, uh, we're going to toast these, and we're going to stir them up gently. And we want to be careful that we don't want to burn them. We just want to heat them up <clears throat> until the volatiles, the aromatics start coming out and the oils are released. Once that happens, they're done. And we're going to set them off to cool and we'll put them in a spice grinder. Oh, the turmeric, you might be wondering where that's at. Since it's already in powder form, um, once everything is ground up and powdered, uh, we'll add this and mix it up at the end. Okay, five minutes at medium heat. This whole house is smelling absolutely fantastic. And I can see the uh, coriander seeds are starting to turn a uh, dark brown. The, um, oh, the smell is fantastic. So I'm going to take it off the heat. And um, I'm going to continue stirring while they cool down. I may dump it into a, a stainless bowl because I don't want them to over toast. And uh, then I'll grind them. Okay, here we have it all ground up. Um, the beautiful Mrs. Rivet said, oh, it smells beautiful, like perfume. And yes, it does. The uh, grinding has changed it from the delicious toasted smell to the first word that comes to mind is perfume, truly. Uh, but she says, oh, it looks like dirt. It looks like potting soil. Well, <laughs> yes, it does. But now we're going to add the turmeric, and uh, then we're going to mix it all up. Uh, adding the turmeric has turned this into the color of bronze, a very rich, uh, deep bronze, and it smells absolutely fantastic. Uh, Mrs. Rivet this weekend is going to cook some traditional uh, roasted chicken, uh, utilizing the spice, so stay tuned in a few days, a week, uh, for that recipe coming up. Thanks for watching. Always appreciate you here at the Sienna's Kitchen.